how are y'all speaking through that one voice box? I was at a theater, but I was here. What is this place? How are you, are you the ones that perform surgery on me? Not to cut your speech out, is there something coming in on the big monitor? I don't give a shit what you have to say. Tell me why you hauled me here now. Uh, I guess we'll go with this one. You, did he just say something? Anyone catch that? Moros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Shut up. Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of a big mountain, big fools. Oh, it is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is here. <laughs> Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across the big mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the big mountain research centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. <laughs> Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. How can it return if it never injured? And the technology that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. <laughs> Was ask the lobotomite for help. A, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent. Perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. What the if fuck? We ask it politely and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction. Only 25% uh, resistance and shock from bodily damage. 5% to my damage threshold. Minimum plus one. Yay, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh, the Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why you could access your 
operation centers. Circumventing the pacification field. This is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prying and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. Heartless perk. Uh, the scars in your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. It cannot be poisoned and filters your artificial blood pump. And your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing. Allowing all healing items, chems, to function at a higher level, 25%. Uh, robots are now confused by you. And 50% less likely to score a critical hit. So I confuse robots now? Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. I think I'm a spine. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage threshold have been increased by one. My strength was already full, so that hasn't been increased. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never got <laughs> used for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took out my brain, heart, and spine. You extracted my brain, but what do you mean misplaced it? If you ripped on my brain, where the hell is it? That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius' creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. <laughs> if so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius! Flush! That is the sound of flushing. This is the longest dive ever. Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. You will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Yes, it is our only chance, a desperate plan that came to us after Mobius' first broadcast. Maybe, just maybe, if we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. Was very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. Um, no. <laughs> you are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? Fuck no. Hey, 
Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Ace. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Ace transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. Oh, All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. And like four quests just got added. Technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit, a suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And eight sonic sound wave emitter projectile gun, able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great biogel massage. <laughs> there. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious or you will end up like the cat of Schrodinger. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire Dude, to this simply is fucking fish long. What the fuck? quickly and carelessly guide you. Shut up, Eight. Right you are, Eight. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. I mean, experiment. No goal. Challenge. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our being is done. Upon your many penis feet, much penis? more than our advanced towering robotical frames. Did he just say that? The little teddy bear can always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly. Directly. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such 
degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Interact together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probe.